It's nice to be connecting with you. How, how's everything been coming along? Pretty well, thank you. It's been good to have a itemized study plan. So. Awesome. I'm glad you're finding it helpful. So what would you say is the biggest challenge you're facing right now? Logic games. Okay, what about them? So I've been following along and doing all the problems. When it's untimed, I'm, I'm fine. I can almost create a pr- pretty similar diagram to you or to the correct answer, how it is, um, and getting all of them right untimed. In a time condition, I freak out. I don't know how to diagram. I do draw six different diagrams and all the maybe possibilities um, and then get lost. Um, yeah. I understand. Okay, so it sounds like nerves might be a factor there. Yeah, yep. Have you ever tried so, mindfulness meditation? I have a little bit. Um, when, I, when I'm in the mindset of a real LSAT, I break down and I don't know. And only on the logic games, it seems it, that it, th- it pushes me for the reading um, comprehension and that's helpful. But on the logic games, I, I need a strategy that, that I can feel confident in my initial setup. Once I'm confident in that, I'm good. I can just kind of, you know, but I, I write three different initial setups and go, okay, is this, is this how it should be? Is this the correct setup? So. I see what you're saying. So you're trying out three different ones and you're not sure which one is the most appropriate. Yeah. Yeah. And then by the time I've done that, I don't have ac- adequate time to answer the questions. So that's, yeah, that's where I'm missing a majority of my points. Right. I see. So it sounds like you need a, a way to ensure that your initial diagram is solid. So you don't need to mm-hmm. spend time double checking, triple checking and drawing more than yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, or double checking the rules and going, hey, is, is, am I interpreting this correctly? Do I have the contrapositive correct? If there is, you know. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Is, does it apply in this situation? Maybe, maybe not. So, Have you ever tried uh, setup drills? As far as? Like for games, like where you would simply diagram the setup the only, setup? not even the oh. questions. No, because I'm so, wow, that's, yeah, I actually never... No, I always do the whole question all the way through. And usually I've been diagramming it out, answering the questions, and then checking them with your, your videos. Um, and that's been really helpful, but I think it, I'm, that's creating, I'm not being confident in my initial setup. And then I go to do it alone because I don't have your voice in the background. Okay, so here's three different, you know, here's the, the three scenarios that could happen in this situation. And that's what we're going to go off of the whole way through. Right. Yeah. You've got to be able to be confident in your foundation because everything rests right. on that. Right. Right. So yeah. Like imagine this, imagine if you were like going to go on a road trip, you'd, you would check your, that your car was in good shape before you start. If you're checking yeah. and stopping every single mile, you're never going to make it there. Right. It'll take forever. And so right. you want to be sure that your foundation is solid so that you can just trust it and move on. Mm-hmm. So that involves okay. the so, setup being good and also your understanding of the rules being good as well. Right. So would you recommend just doing over and over again, just redoing those just setup drills and then just maybe just more questions in general to feel more? Yeah. What's your target test date? My test date is November 7th. Okay. So sure. So you get, yeah. So you got about a month. And so of course you will also want to do full length exams and detailed right. review of those exams, but on the side, just doing more games in general would be good, but specifically drilling setups only. And then afterwards, you can check the explanations and see, did I go further than you did? Did you do it differently? Did you misunderstand something? But even if you did yeah. it right, maybe there's a way you could have gone a bit further. Because there's a lot of times there is, right. there's more you could do in the way of inference. And that's a partially a stylistic thing. Different people like different things. Some like to do less setup than I do. I like to do more. Mm-hmm. But at least right. seeing how one could have made those inferences can be useful. And then seeing the methodical way in which you go about it versus mm-hmm. haphazardly drawing a couple of valid scenarios yeah. that may not be the comprehensive two or three. Mm-hmm. Okay. Awesome. Thanks. Um, I have a random question on LSAT Flex. Sure. So I, don't, I noticed on the Khan Academy, you can control F. Is that allowed in the actual test? Yes, it is. Seriously? It is, yep. 
Wow. I know. Awesome, okay. right? Yeah, no, that's sweet. I didn't, I wasn't relying on it, but I noticed that it worked, uh, you know, a few times. So I, I was just curious. That's completely allowed. My proctor won't kick me out for that. Correct. It's completely allowed. LSAC, ha- LSAC has confirmed that. And okay, so, cool. they, they, yeah, at Proctor, you consider it a browser based function. And so they kind of can't really stop it because it's within your browser, but you're good. You're allowed to use it. They've confirmed wow. this multiple times. You're in good shape, of course, especially yeah. useful on the reading comp, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just not even having to scroll, it's very, it's a lot. It, it'll save you at least a few seconds, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So try it out. And that should work in Law Hub too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Cool. What are the questions you have for me? Oh, is there a, a, my scores differ from the my, the like if I'm doing a pre flex test versus a full, obviously, mm-hmm. because um, is there a good way to simulate actual test day on Law Hub? Should I just stop and then score it myself? Yeah, so it's tough because LSAC hasn't not released anything on scoring. Yeah, so yeah. I would do three sections, leave out one of the logical reasoning sections. And then okay. I think the simplest way is to just estimate your, ac- get your accuracy overall. And so if okay. your, your accuracy percentage, and then calculate what that would have been had it been four sections at the same accuracy rate. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for all your help and all the resources you put out are unlike many others. So. Uh, that means a lot to me. I mean, I'm really glad I, I've been able to help. Before we sign off, what would you say is the biggest insight you got from our call today? Just being able to talk about random idiosyncrasies that are difficult for me versus in general. It's, it's been cool. Even the, I've Googled the control F thing. <laughs> and that's just a simple thing. But I think just knowing to having someone feeling like someone's there to talk to and go, no, you've got this. Here's what you here's how to do it. And you've got this because confidence on the LSAT is a huge thing. I know it is for me and a lot of other people. And just the process of applying for law school, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of feelings of being alone and unsure. Am I, is this the right, is this the right option? Do I study this way? Do I put this on my resume? Do I not do I? So having feeling like I can ask anything and just having that one answer that it's gold. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I would say. Awesome. Well, keep at it and let me know if you need anything at all moving forward. I'm happy to help. Okay. Thank you so much for all your help. My pleasure, Emily. Take care. Thanks. You too. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.